Metcalf. Well, this is the script that Palmer wrote up right here. To uh, be ahead 1-0, coming on top, see if he can neutralize, stop the first couple of moves of Metcalf, get his legs in, and perhaps get riding time. He's tough. Used an ankle pick to flatten that calf out. Good job by Metcalf. Look at that. Cool. Cool. It was, it was nonstop. He got out. He wasn't thinking about jumping up and down and thinking about getting in. He got out, got back on top. Two points. One, the, it's wrestling's version of the three-point shot. What a quick turnaround by Metcalf. And Palmer didn't want to turn the face, so Metcalf ran him out of bounds. He continued to work on riding time. And at this point, I'd keep him down because I believe that says 49 seconds, so he's only 11 away from building riding time. Out and hit the head and around. Clearly separation, give the one, then the takedown. Palmer's wrestled a very good match, but he had a lapse. That's the difference between him and Metcalf so far. Metcalf has no lapses. He wrestles seven minutes from the first second until the last full board. Boy, Palmer escaped with the riding time at 56 seconds. It seemed as though Metcalf pushed him away. I can't believe that. I would have tried to hang on for four seconds, get the riding time, but he is good on his feet, so I see Metcalf liking being here. By the way, Shirelle of Michigan down to Burroughs, the four seed. In fact, it is now just a final Burroughs with a win for Nebraska. And Burroughs keeps Nebraska's hope of a team title alive. Burroughs, Nebraska, And a big upset, big upset on the other match. Dustin yeah. Slater going Dustin down. Schlater, the champ in 06, who fought through injuries to finish third last year. He loses to Caldwell. Darian Caldwell of North Carolina State. The only, he's a giant killer. The only loss on Metcalf's uh, record this year is to Caldwell. So Caldwell. By fall. Moving on. Fall. Is the rematch. Going to occur in the finals. Trouble a lot of that. drama there. I'm sorry, Tim. A lot of trouble here with the headgear of Lance Palmer. Again, not a bad thing for Palmer. I mean, if he does have a tank problem, he just needed. He's right in. He's driving. He's not going to let it go. Is he going to let it go? Great. Wow! Metcalf able to counter. Oh. Palmer had one last shot in him. He gave it everything he got and Metcalf was able to ward it off. That's the move of a I, champion, guys. I don't know how he was able to do it. It seemed Palmer had him, and Metcalf just willed himself to a counter. Well, let me take a guess. It's the Iowa of old. It's Tom Brands. That's the reason he's able to do it. And it started in July, like you said, Dave, in the quote-unquote off-season yeah, yeah. right there. There is no off-season anymore. Brands told me it's a lifestyle, and the mantra has returned to Iowa. Brent Metcalf will advance to the semifinals, and he does it, guys, with one of the most impressive moves you'll see. Palmer was in deep, and Metcalf was able to counter. Yeah, it was a blast double shot. Let's look at that flurry again. Look blast at lower double. level right there. Blast through. Look, he's behind the hamstrings. They're driving through. 95% of the time you'd get this, but a Granby roll out, underhook, and good hip action. Neutralizes. Metcalf comes up, doesn't give up anything. That's the difference in that match. A takedown there for Palmer, and most likely he moves on. So now we're looking at the Jenkins-O'Connor match. Jenkins is up 5-2 to two in this match. Jenkins of Penn State in the blue singlet. Short time. Be tough for O'Connor to be able to get a five-point move, put him on his back. So Jenkins, the number six seed, he'll move on to face 
Caldwell. Caldwell, the giant killer, knocking off Dustin Schlater. And they'll meet in one half of the semifinals tonight. Great match between Metcalf and Palmer. It was Brent Metcalf who was able to hang on and win it in advance to the semifinals, where he'll take on Jordan Burroughs of Nebraska. Well, coming up next, 157 pounds.